Hi hey everyone, how you doing? Welcome to this tutorial of uh, setting up a turbo base map. What we're going to do here is actually open up the Chrome application. And we're going to set this up as if we're setting it up for an all-motor base map. Then what we'll do is actually build upon that to uh, create the boost map. So once you have the application open up, uh, let's open up a bin file here. We're going to select the P30JDM Civic B16A. We're going to go to the options and we're going to disable some sensors that we're not going to need. Okay, let's go back to the few tables. And because this is for a boost application, we're going to be running larger injectors. So we're going to want to adjust for the larger injectors. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to be using 440 RC saturated injectors. So we open up the multiply calculator here for the injectors and we're going to plug that number in here. This is for the new injector flow rating. Uh, if you have a fuel pressure regulator and also a fuel pressure riser, the same difference, and you've adjusted that, then you would want to adjust it here as well. If you stroked your engine or changed it, then you would want to adjust that here as well. Go ahead and click OK. And now what that did was actually decrease a lot of things in the back end, but uh, if you look at the fuel table right away, you'll notice that the fuel numbers dropped. Um, what I've noticed is that this is actually quite a bit lean when you're uh, when you have the wide band plugged into the tailpipe, and so what I normally do is actually increases by ten to twenty percent, depending upon the setup. Uh, but in this case, it's increasing by ten percent, and you may need to try this in your vehicle a couple of times and adjust it back and forth to see uh, what values would give you close to historic yield metric. Let's do the same for the fuel uh, VTEC map let's increase this by 10 percent click OK okay the other thing we want to do here is actually go under plugins under enhancements we want to remove the checksum routine and this is something that the ECU goes through uh, when it starts up the other thing we want to do is actually add in quick data login and RPT for real-time programming uh, the, the assumption here is that uh, we're going to use this map here for data login and tuning later on. So uh, we should disable, I'll take it back. We should enable those features now. Next, what we want to do is actually, we want to add in the boost tables or columns. And so under plugins, advanced boost tools, you want to select that. It's going to have this nice pop up here. You want to go through this here, click OK, click next. And here you can actually select the map sensor that you have currently set up with your boost setup. We're going to go with the Honda map sensor, which uh, is able to read up to about 11 pounds. Next here, boost resolution columns. Uh, you can select in increments of 2 starting with 6 up to 14. In this case, we're going to select 14. And that's going to give us 14 boost column here going from 1.1 pound all the way up to 11.2 pounds now if you notice this map here you'll see that all these columns are actually the same all the way across now what we can do is actually adjust them one by one when tuning but that is uh, tedious work so what we're going to do is actually under tools and boost adjustments um, Chrome has this nice feature here to speed things up uh, some by somewhat here. And what we're going to do is actually one of two things. First, we're going to uh, retard the timing by 0.75 degrees per pound of boost. Or if you want to stay safe, safer, you can actually increase that up to 1 or 1.25 or 1.5 uh, depending upon uh, your motor setup. A uh, few tables, we want to adjust it for turbo efficiency of 120%. What we want to do now is click OK. You know, as you notice right away, these fuse cells automatically increased as boost increased. And that's what should normally happen um, when you're putting uh, more pressure inside this engine. Uh, the other thing to take note of is under the timing, it did the same thing. Let's, uh, let me click back here just so that you can have a visual here. Before, it was for about 24 degrees across. And once we applied that uh, adjustment, as boost increase, timing decrease. And so what we're doing here is we're actually retarding timing um, 
by 0.75 degrees per pound of boost. Now we have boost or fuel, I'm sorry, fuel and timing setup. And this is actually a good base map to start off if you're um, running the typical, you know, T3 or T3, T4 turbo or GT30 to 35. Of course, once um, you uh, start building a boost, you'll notice where it's choking and where it needs more fuel. You're probably going to have to add some more fuel in uh, to the cells where it's hitting. Um, same goes for uh, timing. If you see that uh, the car is pinging or if, you, or if it's making a noise and it's knocking, then you probably want to retard the timing some more, take out timing. But basically, this is a, a base map to get you started and, and get you to be able to drive through the channel to get your car tuned. Um, lastly, what you want to do is also uh, burn this to the chip, of course. <clears throat> uh, the other thing that you would uh, want to do is actually make a note of all the things that you've uh, put onto this ROM. And you can do so by going to this notepad here. You can type in all the stuff that you did here. And I'll put some notes here just uh, um, for the tutorial here. Um, and next, what we want to do is save. So basically, we have this boost map that we've created. <clears throat> we've burnt it onto the chip. All you have to do now is actually throw it in the car, and put a wide band on, start it up, and see if it actually gives you somewhat close to stoichiometric when you're uh, cruising. Now, you shouldn't be getting it all into the boost columns here until you're tuning um, so if you're in this area here which you should be if you're running all um, if you're trying to stay out of boost then you want to look for stoichiometric and you want to adjust the fuel uh, so that it reaches stoichiometric and stoichiometric is about 14.7 air free ratio so if you need to make the adjustments here add in five more percent um, burn it back to your chip put it back in the car give it another shot and try it out uh, lastly uh, don't forget to save your map of course we saved it already but any, after any adjustments you want to save it again okay hopefully you like this tutorial this is actually short and simple again it should at least give you an idea of how to set up your boost um, tables and then also to adjust your uh, fuel for um, larger injector and then uh, uh, it should give you a round idea of setting up a boost base map. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please uh, put them down below. Um, if you would like to see more tutorials, also put that below as well. Thanks for watching and uh, come back soon. Thanks.